Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard101 video. Today we're going to continue in the housing series by looking at a good friend of Terra and I's, Daniel Sunsword, who has an awesome house on tours that we visited a couple times. I've been in the main part of it. I'm not going to say what it is yet. Maybe you saw it in the thumbnail, but it's a really cool part and it connects to his uh, Wisteria Villa and we'll look around there a little bit because some of it I've seen, some of it I haven't, but you can actually go to this house yourself in the castle tours and it's under magical i think so we're gonna visit castle look at friends uh yeah it's under magical and it's number 15 so daniel sons he's got another house on here too but we're gonna check out this one the wisteria villa because i'm excited he's got a lot of castle magic going on and he's even got he, we'll, we'll see i think there's a cinematic there's even a little cinematic I want to see more people do like little stuff like that because I don't know what update it was but I remember they added in the ability to rotate cameras around in different areas and stuff and if more people did things like that it'd be awesome so I love the castle magic houses oh, that like lagged my screen a little <laughs> this rainbow is so intense it's lagging we got the well the magical well got some giant treant guys and uh, oh yeah the pvp just through that. He's even got it blocked off. You can't even go down to the rest of the house. Oh, there's a storm out here. There's a storm. Why is this well so, like, crazy? Am I, like, triggering that? It's like the random castle magic is everywhere. There's a gnome back there, too. What? <laughs> We've been in houses before that's just over-the-top crazy castle magic. This one's not quite there. But, there's a lot going on. Oh, he's even got the, the Jackie, I think her name is. The Balance Scholar. And, did I see everything over there? All the gauntlets are on the side. So, let's go down here. Because there's a really cool other cinematic that we can experience. The spinning wizard. And, and Grandmother Raven over there. Okay, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Over here, past the mannequins. We'll go back that way. <gasps> Wiz 101. Get the little zoom out. Oh. That is... I'm sorry, but... That's amazing. Let's, let's look at it from here. All the serpents. That's awesome. See if we can get it triggered again, all of them. Is it when you walk through here? We get that again, okay. I mean, this is really nice. I, I love seeing that twice. But I want to see the King Artorias. How do you trigger the King Artorias? Walk up here. Okay, let's back up the tree. That's great. Every single one. And then uh, the tree house is up there. We're not going to take a look. There's also a uh, another teleporter. There's one teleporter in particular I want to go through, but yeah, I mean, I just love all the effects. All the King Artorias, like dragons coming together there. Let's get the mannequins that have been resized. Ooh, even this is the the five or the 50 million uh, wizards created, I think it was, or it was either accounts created or wizards created. I, I never know which one it was. And uh, the mannequins there, and the back here. And it leads up to the. Oh, the, this is the. Uh, this is the fantastic. Wait, yeah. what even happens if you go? The sigils right here. That's crazy. I didn't even know you could resize these. He's got the gigantic fantastic voyage uh, gauntlet right there. Can I go back down? Which you can't even see the sigil because it's kind of lost. But it makes it look way better. So yeah, I just love everything going on in this house. Let's go back this way. I think my favorite part over there, though, was the, the King Art. All the spells combined. But what I really wanted to show you guys was this teleporter here. Because this is the main reason I wanted to look at this house. So we're going to take a look. And maybe later in the video we'll go through some of the other teleporters and take a look around there. Because there's some other cool stuff. But this... This is the ultimate library. He's even got the Arcana music. 
So the Arcanum does have its kind of library, like the repository section, I think. But this one is even better. Just because of, it just all fits together. If I saw something like this in the game and I, and I didn't know about housing or anything, I would think that this is actually an area that you can go in Wiz. Because he's got like the sparkling effects. The bookcases go all the way up to the ceiling. And we got the Pigswick guys around and the genie. It just all like fits well together. Like all the bookcases look like they just like, you know, are supposed to be there. So this is a really cool part of the house. And uh, it's, the, it's the library. This could be like the expanded Arcanum library or something like that. So definitely want to show this one off because whenever we go in this room, and especially when I saw it for the first time, I was just like, this is cool. So super cool room there. Definitely want to show that because I'm sure a lot of hard work went into this one. So awesome job on this one, Daniel. The, uh, the library is great. So there's the library. I'm assuming it could be in the Arcanum because of the music. And they enlisted some genies and other guys in the Pigswick people to staff it it's also a clock tower up there so let's go inside the wisteria villa take a look what's going on here oh yeah how could i forget how could i forget the inside of this see i'm just like constantly in awe of this house because it just it keeps getting better like there's more to it i remember him showing me this but i forgot it was in his uh the wisteria villa but he's got an aquarium just the whole house is basically an aquarium the whole inside of this house he's made into an aquarium uh i know that daniel is also a uh, high level fisherman in the game just like i am so he's probably caught all the fish and he's got them on display here so i wouldn't be surprised if in this house there's every single fish in the game he's might even have it divided up uh by rooms or something <laughs> and just a, a volcano in the middle so let's take a look at these. These look like some wizard city fish. This is a Mushu fish. Maybe just kind of random. I don't know what the fish are. Some doodle fish in here too. And even the wallpaper. He's got the wallpaper in the floor and it look like it's an aquarium. Like you're, you're walking inside of an aquarium. Does this continue anyway? I don't think it is. I think it's just blocked off so you can't go that way. And there's a gigantic Leviathan in there too. Multiple. All the fish, let's keep going this way. There's also an upstairs that we can check out. Maybe there's more fish up there. I'm guessing there's more fish. Little sharks. Gigantic, <laughs> oh my god. He just stares at me. Look at the starfish pet. Another teleporter. I See, I don't know where all these teleporters go to. I, I, I've never really been through all these. Maybe I have, but I just don't know what's on the other side. But let's check the upstairs quick. See if there's any more. Why is there so many fish just like chilling here? They're just hanging out. They're hanging out the door. Maybe they're trying to leave. Some fish here. Those are some av Avalon fish, I remember. And, uh... Oh! Some mammoths. Just because. I'm not sure if there's any more castle magic on this side. But... Yeah, there you go. There's upstairs. Some, uh... Oh, the, the cute little penguin pet. Alright. So now, I think I'm just gonna try some of the teleporters and see if I recognize any of the areas. There was one in here, I think, that I just want to check out to see. I want to see if there's any other cool... Oh, this goes into the same... Oh, this goes to the other side. Okay, I'm glad we checked this one because otherwise I would completely have missed it. Oh, that's really loud. We got Triton, we got Spinosaur, Satyr. More of the fish. So these are like the different rooms that he has linked with the teleporters here. I remember that brain sturgeon fish. That was like one of the like original hard fish to catch. Okay, let's go through this teleporter. See if there's any more rooms. Yep, the next fishing room. Let's admire this. Okay. See, it's never just an aquarium room. It's it's gotta have something else. It's gotta have some other this is like the death one. Are these all death fish? Oh yeah, I guess they are all death fish. I just realized that. And these are all death fish. 
Were the ones over here? Oh, I can't go back. You can't go back. You gotta go one way. Alright, we're leaving this one. That was the death room. Maybe they're divided by school. I'm not sure. This could be storm. Yeah, this is probably storm. Probably the storm one, I'm guessing. But, yeah, not sure. Yeah, there's Halston in there. So there you go. Probably divided by room, but I just missed some of them. But that's Daniel's whole house aquarium that he's got going on over there. So that's awesome. Let's see if there's any other teleports that we want to check out before we wrap this up. Uh, there's this one here we can look at quick. See if there's anything else that I might recognize. Oh, yeah. This is his... Uh, this is what he created when the unicorn pack came out. All right. Let's just watch the show. This is... This is what he created for the unicorn pack. <laughs> the gigantic plushie. You can't even run that fast. His legs can't move. His legs are, are too big. Looks like he's moving way faster than, you know, his movement looks like he should be going way faster than he is. He's got the, he's got the unicorn just going in a circle, all different kinds. So I remember him showing us this when, uh, that pack came out because he created it. He had like a little uni This is like the unicorn sanctuary that he's, he's created here. With music and everything. There you go. I like how they come out of the the wall before then they start going in the circle. So that's really cool, Daniel. Neat little room for that. And then was there another one? I think there's a green teleporter over here that we haven't seen yet. Oh, and then he's got the, uh, I think this is the alternate balance school that he created. I remember seeing this one time, but I didn't really look that closely. So he created, like, what the balance school could look like if it was maybe expanded. And Alhazared actually, you know, put some time into making this place and it wasn't just underground in Krakatopia. Because I feel like the balance school was kind of like a secret place that not many people knew about. But this... What if the balance school was actually accepted and they made it into a way bigger thing? So this is uh, his take on that, what it could look like with uh, Alhazred. It'd be cool if you can get Alhazred as an actual like NPC standing here. They haven't created that yet though, but that looks way better than the current balance school. So King's Isles, maybe take notes on that. Can we get a upgraded balance school somewhere? I know we have the scholars in the Arcanum, but dang. What if there's another hidden balance school somewhere? That's looks even better. So that's awesome. Moving on, I think there's one more teleporter that I want to check out. Maybe I missed one, but I definitely remember one in the back. Uh, do we have to go out this way? I definitely remember one down. Well, we gotta see that again. Down by the King Art, there was a teleporter that we'll check out before we uh, wrap this one up. So, and we get to go past the King Art. Uh, <laughs> huge castle magic uh, again, so that'll be cool. I don't know what the countdown... I'm not sure what the countdown actually does. But we're going to go through here, see what this one is, and then... Uh, oh, it goes up here. It's got like an actual little... So you can go in the treehouse, like which will teleport you to basically a different room. Or you can go up here yourself in the tree. And he's got a little, uh, little tea set, some benches that you can sit on. And that, uh, I mean, that just shows the whole overview of the house too. So that's great. But I think that's going to do it for this video. So uh, thank you guys for watching the uh, Daniel Sun Sword Wisteria House Extravaganza. It was really cool. He's got some awesome stuff going on here. And uh, I think I really, I really like the aquarium inside, and the library was awesome. The I forgot about the the balance school, like the recreation of that. If it was upgraded or something, I think that was a cool part too. But that's gonna do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Daniel, for uh, showing off your house. Oh, look at this. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on this video. I'll subscribe for more wizard videos in the future, and I'll see you all next time.